This is the former Rufford Colliery. And there's one reason why I'm here today. Not only is it a fabulous area to wander around in all our former pit tops are, except the ones that we've meddled with far too much. Gedlin. And I'm here today to look for a species of moth which was only recorded new to the UK just a few weeks ago. It's a leaf miner and it's another Philocnistis. You'll hear that name mentioned quite a bit in this video. The moth in question was Philocnistis extrematrix and it was only recorded new to the UK a few weeks ago in July by Will Langdon. A few days after the discovery and confirmation of Philocnistis extrematrix news was put out and immediately people started finding it in their own vice counties. It's a species which binds the stems and leaf petioles of poplars. And once people started to look for it, they immediately started to find it. It was clearly a species which had been here in the UK for a number of years and nobody had detected it before. Within a couple of days of news getting out and word being put out that there was this new species for the UK and it was indeed proving to be found quite widespread across the UK. People started looking for it, and among those people were Nick and Samantha Brownlee and myself. Within a few days, Nick and Samantha Brownlee were examining the young poplar growth and suckering growth of poplars over there, and they found a mine. It took a few days for confirmation, but the mine turned out to indeed be that of Philonistis extrematrix and so Nottinghamshire as well as the rest of the UK had a new species of micro moth and Philonistis have done particularly well in Nottinghamshire this year Philonistis unipunctella has been rampant I've never seen the mines so frequently as I have and some trees have had lots and lots of snail trail like mines on the upper surface and lower surface of the leaves. Then we had Philotnistis zenia found new by myself to the Nottinghamshire only a couple of weeks ago and that's a species which with searching and continual survey work has turned out to be present at about seven or eight different sites now but in small numbers you can have thousands and thousands of leaves and look at them all and yet you'll only find the mines on one leaf and Extrematrix may well be the same. Nick and Sam only found the one mine over there. But I'm not going over there, at least not today, because I've already found the mine and I've walked past it actually to film that. And here is the fairly obvious mine of Philotnistis extrematrix. This is on some kind of poplar, and it's just a young poplar, almost a suckering like growth, just inside the old entrance to Rufford Colliery here. And the mine, if you haven't seen it, is on this stem where my hand is. You can see that pale line running up and down a good length of this stem, that is the mine of Philotnistis extrematrix. The lava does mine into the petioles of the leaves as well 
as the stem and pupation i believe takes place on a leaf edge where the leaf is just keeled over a little bit i'm over the moon to find this particular mine and of all the poplar that i've looked on this is the only stem that i've found it on and it is obvious you can get some signs of wear and abrasion on some stems of poplar but when you see the actual mine itself it is indeed very obvious it is an obvious mine and there well could be two mines on here actually a mine running from down here to around here but what's possibly the same mine continues right up top of the screen but it's quite a flimsy mine too this is like thinner than tissue paper and it just scrapes off and wears very easily so in effect what you're looking for is this lighter green mine going up and down the stem into the leaf petioles and it's a lot lighter than the colour of the poplar stem I think that in Nottinghamshire this is going to be like Xenia, Philotnistis Xenia, where for Xenia you can examine numerous white poplar leaves, hundreds of them, and only find the mines on one leaf at each site. That's how I've had all of the Xenia, and we now have Xenia known from seven or eight sites now in the county. And this is certainly going to be in the south of the county and chances are it could well be in the very north of the county too you just need poplars with sort of small but young regrowth on which to look on amazing to think that there's lots of poplar here and lots of black poplar sucker in at the side of this one I'm not convinced this is black poplar, but this is the only stem out of all of them that has this mine on. I'm well chuffed. It's been a very exciting few weeks for Philotonistis species in Nottinghamshire, and this particular tree is literally full of the mines of Philotnistis unipunctella very easy to spot almost like snail trail type mines on the upper and occasionally lower surfaces of the leaves and now we have another one to look out for another one hot on the heels of Philotnistis xenia xenia has proved to be quite widespread wherever white poplar grows especially on suckery growth and I dare say that over the next few years, Philotonistis extrematrix will turn out to be the same. At the moment, it's clearly around in low levels, only two mines, possibly three mines, known here at the former Rufford Colliery. And even though there are numerous long, in some cases, four to five foot young growth on this particular poplar, which is only five yards from where we have seen extrematrix this one is blank and as are others located nearby might not be the easiest of leaf miners to find but that will purely be on the basis that it's only just starting to colonize northern counties such as nottinghamshire and it's almost certainly in derbyshire and lincolnshire it is in so another one to look out for and another one whose progress across the county of Nottinghamshire we can monitor over the next few years.